Yeah, with Supersport being um, dead on the lock, uh, I mean, we, we've done very well. Um, and um, we are on par with what we wanted to achieve um, this season. So we've done really well. Yeah, no, that's a difficult question. I think um, Chiefs, should they be crowned uh, the champs? No, I don't think so. I think with how the league is and how tight it is, uh, with the little games left, I think six games. It's really um, won't be fair for teams like Sundowns and Pitfers Vets who are challenging. And uh, yeah, I don't think it's, it would be fair. My best and worst memories as a player. The best would be um, winning the league three times with Super Sport United, and uh, of course all the trophies we've won. Uh, scoring in the NetBank final 2012. Um, the worst would be a no player wants injuries and that's why I retired. So my worst would be my injuries, my knee injuries. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it is Dean's uh, last uh, season with us. And um, yeah, he's, he's the captain of the, of the team. Um, I mean, losing him will definitely there would be a huge gap, uh, but we plan on, um, on on life without Dean uh, because uh, he also has his ambitions and the family that he needs to attend to. We just have to look for another player that can do um, the job for the team. And we're not looking for another Dean family, we're looking for a player that can do the job um, for the team. So yeah, it's gonna be a great loss for us. And uh, it's a pity that uh, there's this coronavirus now. He can't really get to finish his season as he want. Um, hopefully, we get back on the pitch. Yeah, what do I make of Katano Temo? I mean, um, he was a great player. I mean, uh, he's always left everything on the field, um, committed. And um, as a coach, he's doing the same thing. He doesn't want his players to feel um, any way less, even if they are the ones who are playing. Um, the players that are on the bench, they feel uh, part of the team and the players that are not in the team. He's good in terms of uh, player management and um, planning. I mean, he worked under great coaches, Peter Masiman, Stuart Baxter, and Kevin Hunt, and, uh, and the rest. I mean, he's really, I think he's gonna be one of the best coaches in South Africa. Uh, because he is eager to learn every time and uh, it's, it's great to work with him. He's, he's one coach that wants players to to, to be their best and um, yeah, a great gentleman as well. Yeah, Corona, it is really um, have a huge impact in, in our football. I mean, uh, it's, um, it's a deadly virus. Uh, we are all now at home, serving the 21-day lockdown. Um, it's it's really um, have slowed the momentum. I mean, uh, people want to go back to the stadiums to watch the game, and players want to go back to the pitch. Coaches, you know, we want to go and and, and uh, be do what we love. Um, it's really affecting the game um, a big time, and um, commercially, I mean. Uh, uh, a lot. Um, let's hope uh, it doesn't take too much for us to get back on the pitch and uh, the strain financially won't be felt by the teams. I mean, the message to all KSO teams uh, during this time of the coronavirus uh, pandemic, um, it's for us to still believe that we will get back on the pitch, never lose hope, uh, for players to stay indoors make sure that you are with your family i mean it's a precious time that you've been given um clubs prepare your teams um never know when this is going to end and um like we are doing at super sport we always have some videos that we get the players to interact more on and on how they are exercising during this 21 day lockdown and um, let's see and hope and have faith that we'll go back to the to the pitch again. And uh, yeah, let's support the players because you know this is their only um, source of income.